everyone and welcome to round six of the Euro Formula Open. I've got a big smile on my face because we are here at Spa Francorchamps, an absolutely incredible circuit, especially in these cars. By the time they get to about the point where I am now, they're pulling 230 kilometers an hour. These cars flat out going into most corners here. It's an incredible circuit. They all love it. And I'd say coming into this season, it's the one that they all wanted to win. Let's look back at how it all happened then. Lucas Dunner would lead us from pole position to the left-hand side of screen. Yiffy Ye to the right as they charged out towards turn number one for the first time. Yiffy Ye saw the slot in into second place there. As we came out of that source for the first time. A basket. There was some side-by-side -side action down towards Eau Rouge as you will see. Benjamin Pedersen to the right of screen. Andreas Esther to the left as they go into Eau Rouge. Andreas Esther slotting into fourth by like Nicholas Cruton who was in third. This was a Maloney, he was making places and making good time. That was him going past Andreas Esner, and next would be his teammate Ido Cohen. Battles for the lead though, the two leaders did swap places. Lucas Dunham would retake the lead, and this is when he did it. He was ahead going into Lake Room, had to cut across to a position gained for him but Yiffy Yi would take it back when he was given the place back by Lucas Dunnell who gave that place back and left himself in a good position to challenge once again as they went down towards Lake Kirib that didn't quite get enough of a toe coming over the slipstream and he wouldn't be able to get past Yiffy Ye. Yiffy Ye was close at the end, very close but just about to do enough coming out of the final corner and it would be Yiffie on the top step of the podium for the seventh time this season. We had some, uh, yeah, missed some fortunate in Mugello, but yeah, uh, for Spa we managed to regroup our uh, focus and then we did a very good job this morning. Unfortunately, I missed the pole position twice by less than half a tenth, but uh, yeah, I think it was really down to the fact that I didn't have a good toe, it can, it can happen in Spa racing so uh, the focus was then to make a good race this afternoon so I know that my pace is very close to match with Lucas so all I need to do is to do a good start and try to get him on lap one after camel straight at the comb and I managed to do so and from that onwards from there onwards I was just trying to hold on to the lead he was coming close a couple of times we had some wheel to wheel uh, actions in turn five it was uh, quite cool actually but yeah luckily it was just enough to bring back home the victory, so very happy about that. We'll be looking forward to focus on tomorrow's race, and yeah, I think toe is a very big factor in the race, so it's never easy to break through. So we'll be expecting to uh, another two interesting races tomorrow. This is how it all started. The two championship leaders, Dunner to the left, Yi to the right would lead us up towards turn number one. Cameron Daz in the background there, trying to dive through, and he would hold first, third place at the start of the race as we went down towards Eau Rouge. Glenn Van Berlo run wide. He started from the very back of the grid, but certainly wouldn't stay there. And by that point, he had already made two places. He'd make a further four on the opening lap of the race. Three wide going up towards Lake Coombe. This was when Zay Maloney trying to move around the outside. Of Cameron Daz, he was on a charge at that point Maloney, but sadly he would end his race in the gravel just a few corners later. Cameron Daz would then have to come into the pit to get some repairs, and with Maloney in the gravel, the safety car would be deployed. When we got going again, the two leaders broke away, they continued to trade places. Yiffy Yi taking the lead back there, going in towards Leku. In the background, there was a great battle for third. This was when we got going again after the safety car. You can see that's Yi leading. He took the lead just before the safety car came out. So he would have the lead going out the back of it. Manuel Maldonado tried another send it in towards turn number one. That time it didn't quite work out for him. But this is where it all kicked off. The two leaders side by side. And all of a sudden, we have a tyre explosion for Dunner. We have Yi going round and facing the wrong way. And he would eventually get going again, but with Dunner's tyre unfortunately exploding on him, that meant that the lead of the race would be handed to Double R Racing's Louis Foster, and Louis Foster would lead the way as he came out of the final corner. Louis Foster would lead the chequered flag, and Double R Racing would take their first win. Glenn Van Berlo from the very back of the field finished third. Edo Cohen his second podium. He would finish in second, but Double R Racing are on the top step. We started P4, um, and then I got a decent start, but there's a guy behind me who got a better one, so I was fifth at the end uh, on the exit of turn one. 
And then I got a really, really good draft. We changed the car a little before this race to, to try and get more straight line speed. And I nearly made it into first at one point down the Kemmel straight on the first lap. Um, but then I settled into third and I kind of, I knew that the Kreiter Power boys were going to clear off. Uh, and they, they obviously did. And I, I was basically managing the gap to um, Cohen behind me. Uh, and then all of a sudden, on one lap down the camera straight, I just saw yellow flags and loads of smoke and managed to see through the car. I could see where the car was, so there was no issue with hitting it. But then uh, I also wondered if there was damage on the other car. And then I saw him at um, turn eight going wide. He nearly hit me on the, rejoining the track, to be fair. But um, no, as soon as they were both off, I had a pretty decent gap in from there. And it was just bringing it home with two or three laps to go. Enjoying the Dallara 320? Yeah, it's really good fun. Um, obviously, this is basically my second day in it and second day at this track because testing we only did like five laps. Um, so no, it was really, really happy, really good result. Can't thank the team Double R Racing enough. They've done a really good job. The car's been amazing all weekend as you can see because my teammate Ben's done also an amazing job. Uh, so I think next row is slightly fourth. So let's try and copy the result, but I think we'll aim for a podium to be realistic. Another dramatic race, it all kicked off at the first corner. Let's look how it started then. Yiffy Ye would lead us from pole position. Dunner in second place. Daz in third. As we turned into the first corner, Louis Foster in fourth was sadly tagged into a spin. Benjamin Pedersen making contact and the two double R teammates would be out of the race on the opening lap. It was close out front though. Yiffy Ye led the way as we went up Eau Rouge with Dunner in chase. Daz likewise. Yiffy Ye and Daz making contact at Le Coupe, dropping the pair down the field as Dunner would lead the way going through Le Coupe on the first lap. The instant at turn one though would bring out the safety car. As we got going again, there was more overtaking going on there with Esna making a dive up the inside on Cohen. Then we got restarted. Dunner made a brilliant restart and it was one of the things that would help him win the race as he immediately eased the pressure on himself. Cameron Daz would lunge down the inside of Esna there to start making his progress through the race. This was where Maloney and Glenn Van Berlo made contact. There you can see front to rear and unfortunately that seemed to pick up damage for the pair who would start to drop down the order. Glenn Van Berlo though would keep fighting all the way to the end and eventually would go on to finish in sixth and second of the rookies. We had Nicholas Cruton fighting through though. That was the moment he passed Cohen to help secure the rookie victory over Glenn Van Berno. But out front, seven seconds clear of Maldonado would be Lucas Dunner and he would take his fifth win of the season. Maldonado on the podium for the first time. Ye on the podium for the 12th time. Yeah, really hard weekend for, I think, all of us. Uh, changing uh, the track every time when we go out. Uh, now the day started didn't start really well. Uh, only P2 in qualifying with quite a bit of a gap. In race one, uh, race two, I think everybody saw uh, my teammate and I had a crash, so it wasn't ideal. I and mean, now for the last race, I just wanted to get the maximum out. I didn't expect with the win, uh, but they had, a, a, I think, a small crash in the turn five, so I could manage uh, to get the lead. And from there on, I had one safety car reset, which uh, went quite well. And after that, I just uh, tried to push every lap to the maximum. And yeah, now with P1, to finish the weekend is uh, really nice. Four more races to come. I think now I, th I should not concentrate anymore on the championship. It's uh, a bit, uh, yeah, too many points away from Yifi. But I'm still fighting for it. Uh, everything can happen the next weekend. So I'm looking forward to the next race and uh, I will give everything I have to get this champion.